Welcome back to KSNT News here on your Wednesday. Here's your morning rush to start off your day. Police have now arrested a man possibly involved in a stabbing incident in southeast Topeka. We need you to come out and we need to make sure that nobody else is in there. This was the scene last night at the 400th block of Southeast 35th Street. Police surrounded the house, urging the man to come out. He eventually did, and police then searched the home. As far as we know this morning, one person was taken to the hospital. Officers did receive the call around 8.30. Turning to another developing story this morning, right now fire crews are still investigating a house fire in northeast Topeka. Here's a look at the home in the Oakland neighborhood on northeast Winfield near Belmont. This happened around 8.30 last night as well. It was initially reported that people may have been inside at the time of the fire. KSNT News is working this morning to get more information. You can always visit KSNTnews.com for the very latest. Memorial services are scheduled for today to honor the three Topekans killed in this fiery crash on I-70 near Bonner Springs last Tuesday. Dr. Sheldon Cohen and his wife Virginia will be celebrated at the Bradbury Thompson Alumni Center on Washburn's campus this afternoon from 1 to 3. 38-year-old Ricardo Morales will be also remembered today over at Our Lady of Guadalupe Catholic Church. That's starting at 11 o'clock this morning. While the heat wave is not sitting too well for hundreds of people in a local town, their power keeps going off for hours at a time. This is happening in the town of Perry, just east of Topeka. Within just the last week, their power has gone out three different nights. A spokeswoman for Westar Energy told KSNT News the company is working to fix the problem and inspecting equipment. They say after yesterday's work, Westar does believe the problem will be fixed. Today you have the opportunity to hear from all five mayoral candidates for the city of Topeka. The Jayhawk Theater will serve as the backdrop for the public to listen in to the candidates as they discuss their viewpoints on topics concerning the community. The five candidates include Michelle De La Isla, Spencer Duncan, Chris Schultz, Clark Trammell, and Mark Weiser. There will be a reception prior to the forum starting at 6 tonight and the discussion will begin at 7.